There's some concern about things that are genetically modified and how they affect your rates of allergies, your rates of inflammation. Um, it's something that there's a, quite a bit of agreement that it hasn't been studied as well as many people would like. There's some concerns that it raises the rates of allergies. And the foods that are highest, are, the foods that are genetically modified most are things like canola and soy. Um, and so those are ones where if you're getting something that's organic, you know that it wasn't genetically modified. Um, one of the things that people don't realize is that there's nothing saying genetically modified if you were to buy something with corn oil. That they, at this point, this, we don't require labeling, and so people just assume, well, I'm not eating things that are genetically modified because you wouldn't, you wouldn't choose to, so they're not, they're not labeling them as such, um, and then they don't have to. So you can seek out companies that say they won't genetically modify, or you can buy products that are, that are organic. Um, there's, there's certainly lots of movements out there to say, you know, just stay away from things that are genetically modified. I, we certainly don't have enough evidence to show, from my perspective, to show that there are things that are safe. Um, and so I certainly advise getting those things particularly organic instead. Um, and and mo many other countries really limit or require labeling in terms of what is and what isn't genetically modified. In Europe, it is a really big deal. Um, one of the very few countries that doesn't label and doesn't seem to have any issue with GMOs is actually the United States. But there's more and, and more and more movement and awareness. And um, what it comes down to is that, I, I mean, I feel very strongly that it should at least be labeled so people have a conscious decision of what they're putting in their body, no matter what it is. Um, there, there are certainly websites. I mean, if you Google Jeffrey Smith, he's sort of the, the leader in the brigade against GMOs, or at least to have. Um, I think it's called the Institute of Responsible Technology. So, so that people have an awareness of what they're putting in their body and then they can make their own um, decision. Because the whole thing with genetic modification is um, foods aren't genetically modified so that they'll be more nutritious or that we can feed the homeless. So the GMOs are developed by a, a company that also sells an insist, a, um, insecticide called Roundup. And so this way the plants are hardier. And what ends up happening is they get sprayed more. Um, because they can withstand. And actually the company Monsanto that developed them actually petitioned and, and got approval um, in terms of raising um, the limits that they were allowed to spray certain crops, which, <laughs> which makes me nervous um, because pesticides, there's certainly concern in terms of development of cancer and just they are not good in your body. One of the running themes that we've been seeing is the more naturally you're eating foods, um, the less processed they are, pretty much the better they are for your body. Um, and, and we'll kind of be returning to this theme as we go, that, that eating, as they say, more like your ancestors. It's, it's kind of like, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Michael Pollan, and he says, you know, eat foods, mostly plants, eat less. You know, simple rules along those lines that eating more natural foods, eating them in moderate quantities, um, eating less processed is something that, that really makes sense across the board.